back just a tad, turning towards me there. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, I'm a photographer. I've uh, been involved with the NHL now for the last 10 years. I myself don't have a brother. My cousin, Mark Wilson, is as close to a brother as I'll ever get. Mark's 40th birthday, actually, uh, would have been uh, just this past December. And uh, so at the age of 39 in the military, Mark was uh, considered the old man, um, which a lot of the younger guys razzed him about. Um, so he didn't enlist until later in, in, in life, I guess, as far as the military goes, but uh, he certainly found his calling. He, he absolutely loved what he was doing. As far as him going away to Afghanistan, uh, we had a going away party for him. That last night that I saw him, uh, the thought never, ever crossed my mind that this was going to be the last time that I'd see my cousin. Mark was killed on October the 7th. When we went to uh, Trenton, Ontario, where uh, Mark's body was flown back to, that night was an unbelievable night weather-wise. It was pouring rain, like the rain was coming down sideways almost. And um, it was like being in the eye of the hurricane, I guess. It just, you didn't, you didn't notice the, the wet and the cold and the rain and the wind. Um, everything was calm and you just felt so proud of Mark and who he was and what he had accomplished as we watched the other soldiers carry his, his casket over to the hearse and uh, just wanted to go over there and say to him like, you know, I'm so proud of you, you did such an amazing job. Dave and I have known one another, uh, I guess, probably about seven or eight years. So uh, he explained to me um, over the phone his idea with the goalie mask and uh, right away I was I thought that's an awesome idea. With the Canadian mask here, the right side is called the mission. Basically you have the three Canadian soldiers sitting on their LAV with another uh, Canadian soldier in the background looking through the binoculars with the Afghani girl writing her homework in school. Along the chin line here in the sand is along with the yellow ribbon you have the poppies, symbolic of fallen soldiers in Canada and Remembrance Day. This side here is called the memory, where you have the Canadian soldier leaning over to pin a poppy on the reef in front of the wooden cross erected in the Afghan uh, desert with uh, the bagpiper in the background and the Canadian soldiers saluting. Here we have the American version of the mask. This side here, like the Canadian mask, this has the memory side, where you have the American soldier bending over and salute to his fallen comrade with the boots, the dog chains, the rifle, and the helmet. And in the background, you have the 21-gun salute. As you come across the front of the helmet, you'll see the yellow ribbon, the American flag expanding. On this side here, we have the mission, the Black Hawk helicopter, Abrams tank, and then the medic with the young Afghan girl. The first major vehicle to get the word out there was Hockey Night in Canada. I just felt that that was probably the most important kickoff for the helmets because it's well known that Don Cherry is such a, a huge advocate of the military forces, both Canadian and American. And after that had happened, everything just went crazy. It just everybody wanted a piece of it, be it uh, TV uh, shows, uh, radio phone-in shows, uh, and a whole other thing. The ultimate exposure, what I would like to see is that goalies of note at the NHL All-Star Game wear it, whether it be through skills competition or at the actual game itself. I would love to see both teams sign both the helmets. You know, anything that would create as much maximum value for it as possible, that would be great. Both masks will be auctioned off on NHL.com and all the proceeds will be going to the families of fallen soldiers for the Canadian version of the mask, the American version all the proceeds are going to be donated to the USO. It's awesome that people around you care like that. I mean, to take their own time and, and money and efforts and everything to, to do something like this, it is. It's very overwhelming and I can't thank Dave enough for, uh, you know, getting the ball started on this and coming up with such a fantastic idea. I know speaking on behalf of Mark's family, they're all overwhelmed by this idea and uh, they think it's a fantastic thing and uh, they can't thank Dave enough um, for getting this going and 
and the effort that he's put into it. Um, everybody's just extremely happy with it.